Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News in another Windows 8.1 video. I think the last one I did with you guys, I showed you how to create a system image for backup. Uh, I show you guys how to do it uh, with PowerShell because believe it or not, uh, Microsoft actually removed the web GUI, not the web GUI, but the the GUI interface within Windows 8 to create that so the only way to get around it was to use PowerShell so check that video there's an annotation right there so click on that to check that video now the other part is how do you restore you know you can't restore when you're within Windows 8 because you're actually overriding your C drive information so you can't actually start the restore uh, process within your Windows environment. So what you have to do is you have to take your Windows 8 CD, right? Put it into your machine and boot from it. Once you boot from it, you're going to get this little dialog box right here. You want to click on next and rather than hitting install because you don't want to overwrite your C drive completely. You have a custom image which with all the drivers and all the applications, right? So what you want to do is is click on repair your computer. Now, repair your computer, you're going to get this nice little option. This is basically Windows 8 boot, kind of boot configuration. Uh, the section that you want to go into is the troubleshoot. You want to go into advanced options, and you want to do a system image recovery. Okay. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because we have a specific system image file. Okay. If you didn't have that, you could do a system record, uh, restore. Uh, so let's click on system image recovery. Uh, the target operating system is a Windows 8.1 preview for now. And it's going to scan. Now if everything goes well, it's going to actually locate my D drive. Remember on the last video, if you guys haven't checked that again, click on that on that annotation. On the last video, I actually told PowerShell to take whatever's on the C drive and create it on the D drive like a backup. And this is the time frame of the date and time that I created it, which is awesome. All you got to do is just select that, hit next, and just follow the prompts. Um, hopefully, I'm, I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to hit finish because I hit finish. It's going to like wipe up and do whatever on my machine. I don't want that. But you hit finish and you're good to go. Actually, I'm going to do it. Why not? Let's hit finish. All the data on the drives will, to be restored will be replaced with the data in the system image. Are you sure you want to continue? Why not? And that's it. That's that's how you restore from your system system image. <laughs> uh, kind of crazy. Again, there isn't going to be an annotation floating around here in this video, so you guys can check out the first part of how to create your system image. Uh, if not, there's going to be a link at the description part. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please give me likes. Please comment if you have any questions or concerns, and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>